In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your Church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. During his life on earth, Christ offered up prayer and entreaty, aloud and in silent tears, to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. Although he was son, he learnt to obey through suffering. But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. The Word of the Lord Save me. O Lord, in your love. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Save me, O Lord, in your love. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your love. Release me from the snares they have hidden, for you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. Save me, O Lord, in your love. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Save me, O Lord, in your love. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. Save me, O Lord, in your love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy is the Virgin Mary, who without dying, won the palm of martyrdom beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's memorial recalls Mary's suffering at seeing her divine son rejected and ultimately put to death. In Mass, this sequence or Sabbat Mater is sung before the Gospel acclamation, which I think summarizes today's memorial. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. 
now at length the sword had passed. There is no language that is spared that does not honour our mother. And that is the greatness that comes to this one wonderful woman who we have all come looking for, who we have all searching for, asking for her grace, her intercession, and her blessing in our own very lives. All of this because the motherhood that she had and that she shares with each one of us. My dear brothers and sisters, I remember when I was a little boy, I was always sick and had trouble with breathing. And so what my mother will do she will apply some ointment and rub onto my chest and also behind it so that I can breathe easily. And when I fell and I hurt my forehead, I was literally soaked with my own blood. My mother would hold tightly close to her and while my father drove to the hospital where I ended up getting a few stitches on my forehead. A mother goes running after her children. That is the heart of the mother. No mother can sit and say, Ayah, don't care my children cry. Just let my child be. Let my child learn from his own mistake. A mother would run to her wounded children a mother's heart, my brothers and sisters, searches for her broken children. And that is who Our Lady of Sorrow is for us today. A child finds safest in the arm of a mother. And that is who Mary is to each one of us. There is this saying that when we are wounded, we also want to wound others. Hurting people means we hurt others, but it cannot and never true when we look at our mother Mary. Her life was a life of wounds and hurt, but she converts all of these experiences of this bad energy, so to say, into something that is positive, into something that is creative, into something that is maternal. And that is what makes her special. And there is no hurt or harm that she has not felt in her life. The prophecy of Simeon, the flight to Egypt, the loss of her child in the temple, when Mother Mary meets Jesus while he is carrying the cross to Calvary, to see Jesus being crucified on the cross, taken down from the cross and have to bury his own son. St. John beautifully says today in Gospel passage that standing at the foot of the cross was Mary, his mother. A very powerful statement. Standing at the foot of the cross and to see one's own son being put to shame and death Jesus is sharing his own mother to each one of us when he said to John, Behold your mother. And this mother is with each one of us. And there may be times that we betrayed, that we left and ran away on our own little ways in our life. But our mother Mary never gives up on her children and that is the heart of a mother, where she remained saying, I am there standing beside you, praying for you, being a mother for you. So brothers and sisters, as we come seeking her help, her prayers and intercession, let this be our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us this weak children of yours, these wounded children of yours, with our own limitations, 
with our own fear, with our own brokenness, our own sickness. Pray for us now and at the hour of our most greatest fear, which is death. Our Lady of Sorrow, pray for us. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honouring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ours, for the Church's sake, what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.